What's going on, Easy Team and Z here. Welcome back to another video. And this video is more of a PSA announcement to all you gun guys out there. I see this a lot and I post our videos not only here on the Instagram and Facebook page, but also to other groups. Now, I do that to spread the word about DZ, obviously, because I need to get the name out there, but also at the same time, I notice no matter who's posting what, if you have some knowledge in the gun industry to do this or to do that, and I'm talking specifically about one of the videos that I posted about doing the, is the whip shake. Drop it down, load another mag, rack one in, and continue to fire. Now, how many of you have seen somebody do that wiggle, that wiggle with a pistol to get that magazine out? I know you've seen us do it here on the channel because our magazines have gotten stuck and they're like, oh, well, I've had complaints about people saying, oh, well, it's because you're not depressing the mag release down all the way or just let gravity do the work or assert your dominance and chunk it. I, I'm aware, right? Like there's, there's multiple ways of fixing that problem. But again, if you do something, you, you do it right and then it doesn't come out all the way and your habit is to shake, right? You, you get, there's tools to fix that. I get it, gravity. But if your habit is to shake, here's one way you can combat that. Shake. Do the pistol whip shake. Go down at one, effectively kills your time, or makes your time a little bit more efficient, right? So you're not doing this and wiggling it till it falls out. One time, gravity helps with that. It comes out and you can pull another one in and go. If you do this and wait for it to come out, you come up here and then you rip, that ripping takes milliseconds that you could have had if you just would have went down, reinserted, racked, and went in, or, or you know, let this slide release go forward. Let people teach you things that you may not even know, invent things that you may not even have thought of. Let them be tools for your toolbox. Let them be tools for somebody else's toolbox. If it doesn't apply to you, guess what? If it doesn't apply to you, go on to a next video. Scroll on, go do something else. You don't need to be there to say, hey, just do this, just do that instead, just do this. You're building a bad habit, you're doing this. Here's my thing on bad habits. The only bad habit is one that doesn't make you efficient. It's the one that doesn't make you combat ready. Because at the end of the day, the only one that can tell you you're not a good warfighter is the one at the end of that, that barrel, the one that you're shooting at that got to you first, that hit you first. They're the ones that can tell you, hey, by the way, you're not doing so hot because I got you. At the end of the day, they're the ones that can say whether you, everything that you learned was good or bad. Now, everything that you learned through these videos, you can take with a grain of salt and you can also take tactics with a grain of salt. If it doesn't work for you, then move on. Learn something else, learn from somebody else. If it does work for you, and if it's something that you can put in your back pocket, so when that does happen, hey, I remember that video where Z did on the video where he did the pistol whip shake, and I'm over here shaking you know, left and right, and you know, things like that. Put it in the back pocket, or send it to somebody else and let them put it in their back pocket. It's like changing money around. It's, it's hey, I have some, a piece of knowledge, I have a solution to a problem that might happen. The gun industry is a big industry. There's so many tac tactics, there's so many instructors, there's so many experiences that people have. Everybody has, there's so many categories and room for improvement, no matter which way you go. And if you break it down into the most minute movements, there, there's a problem here, fix it. There's a problem here, you can fix it. There's a problem here, you can fix it. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So, that being said, if you're just like, oh no, I saw this guy set stone, one way fix it all. Like, okay, cool, if that works for you, if that's what you wanna do, go ahead and do it. But the best shooters, the masters of shooting, are the ones that are open-minded and the ones that take everything they've learned and put it into a little box. Say, okay, I can weed that one out, I can weed that one out, that one doesn't apply to me, I can weed that one out, and they move on. And they, they take everything that can work for them. It's the same thing with fitness. If you're into the fitness industry, you would also know that some workouts don't work for you. Not every body type is the same way. If I eat this, doesn't mean it's gonna benefit you the same way it benefits me. I have a fast metabolism. How many of you guys have a fast metabolism? How many of you guys don't? How many of you guys have a hard time putting on weight? How many of you guys have a hard time losing weight? Everybody's different, but there's still tools of the trade that you can use. So, take everything, all the tools that you wanna take Put it in your toolbox. If it doesn't apply to you, send it to somebody else, or just let it be there and let it marinate in that area and let it apply to whoever needs to apply. You don't need to be the, the keyboard warrior 
saying, hey, that's wrong. Hey, that's a bad habit. Hey, this is that. Hey, this is that. No, just, if it doesn't apply to you, move on. Man, move on. Let it, let it, let it marinate. Let it just sit there. If it applies to you, awesome. If you have, if you say, oh, that didn't, that's a bad habit, and then still put it in your back pocket, I mean, that, that you have way too much time on your hands to be doing stuff like that, right? <laughs> but that's my little rant, my PSA for all you guys. So again, hopefully this video was information for you, informational for you guys and it didn't hurt anybody's feelings. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just trying to say knowledge is power. If you don't want that knowledge, leave it alone. <laughs> but now, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.